are this next generation that's going to be out there in your careers and these jobs making an impact? So another big area that I can add to is, um, in spite of, well, whether it's sexy or not with your computer at the cafe, but the social networking is going to be a huge part of the sustainable um, the sustainability of everybody because that connects the world together. And so people who are writing about it, blogging about it, thinking about it, doing research, getting the getting the information out there as quickly as possible, these are all potential um, uh, micro businesses for people to start getting into and being connected with. Um, and then one thing is too, we were talking about things you can do that have that you can do a little and has a large impact is even just using the car less um, and eating eating well so that you're mindful of everything you eat. So if you choose to eat a little bit more organic or cage-free eggs or, you know, that has impacts. And if you choose to eat fewer calories or few, less meat, that all has impacts across the entire range of our economy from transportation and chemicals and everything that goes into producing and transporting the food to, from the, the farm to our door. So these are things that, and, and, and food and water, and I mean, I would, I see a Dasani bottle, so I'm already got my antenna up, but everyone should be carrying a water bottle. It takes more water. So uh, even if we move away from the energy equation, which is actually something I'm really proud of in, in terms of Boston Green Fest, it takes more water to produce a bottle of water than the water that you drink in it. <coughs> water is, it will, and it already is, our probably one, number one problem in the world today. It is not energy we have. Water we will not. And so one thing that Boston Green Fest was able to set a precedent for last year is to be the first public outdoor festival that did not use bottled water because MWRA was able to come and set up um, a portable drinking fountain. So they provided fresh water for everyone who came to the festival, which was then used at the local food festival, and it was used at several other events in the city. And that now, from what we wanted to do at Green Fest, it has become a potential for every outdoor festival. Go ahead. I have a question. Are there any people in finance here? The financial world? Okay. And this is something I think, even if you're not in finance, uh, it's important you take some sort of basic finance course if you can. And and I'll ask this question. I don't know if this is a, this is maybe a little bit uh, edgy. Uh, uh oh. I'm running out of time. So yeah, no. It's, uh, um, is our financial system sustainable? When you have, when I, and I, I, if, if it's, it's a very uh, tough problem, to, I don't say tough problem, it's a very unnerving thing to talk about. Uh, but uh, when you talk about the system of either fractional reserve banking or uh, interest on uh, bearing accounts, you got to ask yourself, you know, if, 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 we have a, if we have an island of us, right, and everybody gets a dollar and puts it into a bank and expects money to come out as interest, where does that other money come from? These are, these are. I know these sound like very obscure questions, but they're almost central to what we do as a society, and I can make solar panels, I can do thermostats and all that stuff, but if our entire financial system is unsustainable, you got to ask yourself, does that mean anything we do, can it be sustained? And the definition of sustainable Unsustainable is something that can't be sustained. <laughs> so I, I'll leave with that. Note. That's a big one to ponder. Okay, Sorry, I'm going to jump in with one more. Oh, no, let me. Well, what I'm going to say, oh, you have one more. I just wanted to ask again anybody here studying either health sciences or education? So, same thing about sustainability, looking at our health system. You know, and the education that goes into that about eating healthy, um, just looking at the burden when people aren't eating healthy on our on our health system and, on, and you know on our communities. So there's a huge sustainability factor there in terms of health education and in terms of in terms of our education system as well. Here in Boston, you know, I don't know who's familiar with the Boston Public Schools, but they're shutting down 12 schools this year. You know, the, and and they're doing that focused on sustainability because they got too big and now they've got somewhere between three and five thousand empty classroom seats. If you can imagine this room being heated and the lights being on, 
and no students being in here because there just aren't enough students in the system. So they're focusing on sustainability and they're actually streamlining their programs. So there, there's room everywhere. You know, this topic is so big, this word sustainability. It's got so many different ramifications. Um, there, Carol's got a comment and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have each of our panelists do literally a two sentence piece of advice because it'll be a nice thing for you. It, it can be anything about their job search, about their career. Think back to your own experiences and what might have helped you in your past. So I want to force you to be really concise with it. So do you think about that while I ask Carol? Because it's a nice takeaway as you leave here. What piece of advice would they like to share with you? And Carol. Okay, two quick things. So please remember that sustainability demands everybody in this room and beyond to be involved. It's not just engineers or finance or business or education. It's everybody. It's very multidisciplinary. And number two, please get involved more with the programs that we're trying to offer to you here on campus while you're here. We really are trying hard to do great events and you'll learn a lot from it. I'll pull up the sustainability website here too. It's just sports slash sport sustainability, isn't it, Carol? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Sports slash sustainability. Yeah. 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 So that you've seen it and you'll come back to it. So initiatives, news, events and resources, scholarships, sustainability committee, and campus groups. I just go to that page right now. So ranging from Engineers Without Borders, um, the Husky Energy Action Team. And you stand Progressive Student Alliance and Vegetarians United. So lots of great ways to get involved. So I know it's we're running out of time, but I know this is your, your last moment to say something to impact uh, the next generation. What is it gonna be like? Oh, it can be small. I, 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 am, I, I am a communications person, so I can get I can get it into those two Oh, all right. Um, and but hitting on some points from that have been hit on by other people as well. Um, expect your career to be nonlinear. Uh, it's the way it is these days. Do, do, expect it. You're do, gonna. Do. You're never gonna know. There are people who are gonna follow a path, but expect your career to be nonlinear. You're gonna go through different channels where you're doing, doing different things. Tied into that, the second sentence is: <laughs> absorb the skills as you move through, and then be confident in those skills. If you don't have confidence in yourself and your abilities, people aren't gonna take you seriously. All right. Thank you. Well, I guess yeah. I can add to that. Um, um, be willing to be flexible and enjoy that ability to um, move from one thing to the other as someone who's also got many, probably many different career paths and, um, and find that there is um, a place when you'll find that either things will all come together or you'll find one point that does work. But the other thing along the way is to be open to receiving as much as you can from everybody around you and be respectful of everything that you do and every place that you live in. And, and, and think about how, as you move through life, think about everything around you so, and, and realize how much nature is part of our lives and, and needs to be part of our lives. Thank you. Right. See, I think I've boiled it down. Uh, I would say number one is have integrity. I mean, I can deal, I can work with a lot of people who are not so brilliant and brilliant, but if I can't trust you, then I don't want to work with you. Uh, be nice. It works goes a long way, believe it or not. And uh, for engineers, solve the real problem. You can talk to me after. And if there's one book I would read, uh, talked about sustainability and the reality that unfortunately we're all going to face, it's the uh, start off with uh, James Howard Kunstler's The Long Emergency. The Long uh, Emergency. The Long Emergency. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's, uh, I think it's a little bit scary, but I think it, it, it at least opens your eyes to the possibility of that our world will be a little different. All right. I think some of our panels will have a few minutes to answer questions and also do speak about volunteer opportunities, both Karen and Michael have volunteer opportunities. But I just want to say thank you so much to you guys for being here and to our panel. Fantastic information. Today. Thank you to Sabrina. <laughs>